please subscribe to our YouTube channel to receive notifications about our RoboLinux video tutorials. And don't forget to click on the notification bell. Thank you. Hi everyone, John Martinson here, founder of RoboLinux. You can call me Robo. Everyone else does. Today I have some very exciting news for you. It's been a long time since we created a really nice GNOME version. RoboLinux has released its fifth brand new Series 10 operating system, GNOME 10, long-term support, good through 2023, with modern icons, and it comes with a 4.15 Linux kernel, which means it supports newer hardware. It's lightning fast, using low RAM overhead, built with the budgie UI, so it performs well on older machines. You'll see that in a moment when I take you on a brief tour of this RoboLinux Raptor GNOME Series 10. As you may know, all 15 of our operating systems, plus Stealth VM and C Drive to VM, are free. And that includes expert tech support as well. This is really impossible to do without your support. In fact, there's no way we can keep doing it. We'll go out of business without your support. Thank you. Okay, here we go. The first thing you're going to notice about the RoboLinux GNOME Series 10 is it is really fast and it's it's very streamlined um, and it's extremely configurable as well. These uh, these little panels or docks um, that you see here um, can be configured to be showing on the left side with any apps you want in them or the right side or the top or the bottom and you can move your bottom taskbar to the top um, it's just a really uh, very stable very configurable exciting operating system so let's take a look at the main menu so you've got your preferences and you, it's got everything that you would normally find in any robo linux operating system uh, because we, we find out what you're interested in having in terms of default apps. Um, so in administration over here, you're going to be able to modify your login window, which is really a pretty GDM3 uh, uh, login. Of course, you got your software updater. Uh, you want to create a uh, USB stick. You got that. Uh, we've got Synaptic for those who prefer that over the software. Um, which I'll show you where that is in a second. That's going to be in System Tools, okay? And you see it down here. Let's take an example. If we wanted to move this shutdown button, even though there's one on the right side of the screen, if we want to move this over to this nice dock, we just drop it in there just by dragging it in and then just place it where you want it, okay? If you don't like it and you get tired of it or you want to get rid of it, just grab it and throw it away. So now let's go on to um, Sundry really is something that's just uh, kind of technical stuff. Um, iBus preferences. Stealth VM, of course, built in and free as usual. Sound and video, um, we've got Audacious. We've got Brazero, Kazam, and VLC. Now Office, what we've done with Office is we give you two choices. Uh, to keep the ISO disk smaller, we offer you, the, of course, the normal choice, which would be just to go here into System Tools and go to Software and install the current stable version, which is uh, version 6. Uh, or you can go up into our free installers, our one-click installers, and you can simply click here, and that will install the repo for the most current version of Lib LibreOffice. Now, under Internet, uh, the first thing you'll notice is... Um, there's a $10 gift for me, and it's really worth your while. It's 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 a no-brainer. Um, so check that out. Of course, we use Deluge, the BitTorrent client, because it's the best, uh, according to our users and as well as our analysis. Firefox web browser. Um, now, you, of course, you can install others, uh, and you'll see that in a minute. Um, and, uh, and there again, you've got your... Uh, link here to everything that we have which is for free including expert tech support now here i want to bring to your attention that if you highlight this option in internet it's going to tell you what version of 
Robo Linux GNOME 10 that we're running here or that you have installed. And you can check to see if there's a new version and see if there's any news for Robo Linux there by clicking. And of course, Thunderbird Mail. Here you have the installers, and these are really going to save you a lot of time and headaches uh, dealing with uh, dependencies and so on. Uh, for example, Google Earth Pro, which we have to host um, because it's just too hard for users to figure out how to install it. And, and then you got I2P installer. Um, that's a complicated one unless you, you're fairly advanced. Uh, now here's an interesting one. We've got LibreOffice installer. And that's going to give you the ability to add the repo to the latest and greatest uh, LibreOffice. You got the Opera 64-bit installer. We also host that one so that the download is fast. Got Steam, Tor, 64-bit browser. Um, uh, it's another privacy browser. Um, I2P is probably the strongest, but you could run both at the same time and pretty much... Uh, you're just a ghost on the internet. You got your Tor Chat and Wireshark for those enthusiasts that enjoy uh, that kind of activity. Um, so then under graphics, of course, we have to provide you with GIMP because uh, that's a standard app. And then we use GThumb not only for storing your photos, but also for viewing uh, any PNGs or JPEGs uh, that you may have created um, or have in your folders. And under accessories, of course, a calculator. We've got two file managers. We've done something really cool. We've added Nemo. Okay, now Nemo is a wonderful file manager. I think it's a must have. Um, it certainly blows away the second one, which comes stock with the with this version of GNOME, which is which is Nautilus. Let's look at system tools. So it's a one click up here to get your drivers. And as you'll note, uh, it's going to instantly figure out which drivers match your machine. And you just pick the ones you like. Um, and with literally just by picking it, it just installs and you can uninstall it as well, which is wonderful. Back to system tools. Now, we, of course, have the auto upgrade Robo Linux 64 GNOME 10 series. And if you click this, it's going to tell you whether there's an update or upgrade. And if there isn't one, it's going to tell you that your current version is current. Uh, most people miss that. The budgie desktop settings are really quite incredible. Um, let me give you a few examples. Let's go to the bottom panel here. And you see you can add applets down here on the right side. And as you can see, you can move them around, up and down. You can even move, for example, I could move any one of these all the way over to the left side, which would look ugly, but you can do it. Uh, but you can change the order, and you can add applets. Um, under Windows, um, you've got all kinds of options here that you can check out, and feel free to do so. The system won't crash. It's very stable. Uh, change your fonts, if you like. Uh, you've got Style. Um, Basically, that gives you the ability to change your icons if you want to, um, and your themes. I'm sorry, this was themes, and of course, this one is icons. And uh, so you can have a dark theme if you want, and uh, so that's pretty good too. And Windows, of course, more options. Um, I showed you the bottom panel, and here you can see your auto starts, uh, which you can add and remove. And uh, so it's it's quite configurable. It's it's it'll take you a little bit of it's got a learning curve, but it's really worth it because it's so snappy and fast. Uh, it's just wonderful. Uh, let's see what else we may have missed here. Uh, we'll go to administration. I may have covered that earlier. Uh, your login window, you can go in and change um, the wallpaper, and uh, you know you can do what you like there with your login window, which is GDM3. It's quite slick. Software updater, of course. Um, your startup disk creator to create uh, USB sticks. And Synaptic Package Manager. If you don't want to use the software, which is actually pretty nice. Uh, but what's odd about the software installer is that 
many of the packages are only available through Synaptic, so you need both. Here you can add or remove your users or change your password. Well, let's look at utilities. Now, the first thing you're going to notice in utilities is that you have two terminals, and there's a reason for that. First of all, Tilix, which is like the cross between Terminator, where you can have multiple terminals running inside one terminal at the same time, which is quite awesome for us sysadmins. Uh, that one is, is going to be um, really worth using. However, if you're, in, if you're running the Nemo file manager and you right click and you want to open a terminal, Nemo is not designed to work with Tilix, so we had to install the GNOME terminal, and that gives you access. Note that you can also right-click inside of Nemo and open this root if you want to, typing in your administrator password, which, of course, is your pseudo password. Um, so that's why we have two terminals. Let's take a look at something very interesting in this version that you... Uh, may enjoy. If you go, uh, right now we've got the shutdown button on the far right. Uh, it could be anywhere you want. Uh, of course you have your standard shutdown, restart, hibernate, suspend, lock the screen, and you've got your uh, logout. Um, to the left of that you have your something we've never seen before, which is night light. Um, and if you turn that on when you're working at night, it's a little bit less harsh on your eyes and uh, you can control the brightness and you can schedule it to turn on if you want to. Um, it's up to you. Now, one of the, I call them oddities, uh, and in fact, it's really the only kind of quirk in this, this uh, budgie desktop, is that I just plugged in an external USB drive and it didn't pop up. Um, we've been trying to figure out how to make it work. We've set it in Nemo, but it's not working. But if you were to load your Nemo file manager, of course, you'd see all your devices here and you'd also see your external drives. Now, the minute you click it, it will mount it and you'll see the icon appear on your desktop. So that's something to keep in mind. It's it's not a you know showstopper, but uh, and it is something I will continue working on. I've got about 40 hours into it so far, and I just had to finally table it. Um, otherwise, I would never get this uh, operating system released. So uh, that's the only really strange thing about uh, the Budgie desktop so far. And you're also going to notice, of course, an archive manager, a PDF viewer, um, a help button, which is pretty neat get help with GNOME. Screenshot, that's a standard. And I already talked about the terminals. Let's take a quick look at the preferences. So, and that brings up an interesting point about showing you about the uh, uh, changing of wallpapers, which just couldn't be easier. So you've got here, you could change your wallpapers, of course, Bluetooth, all the standard things you'd ever imagine. Here you can set the color uh, for your monitor. Um, of course, date and time, displays, you can have multiple displays and they really work well. Um, you got your firewall configuration, which you know is a good thing to have. Input methods, keyboard, language support is incredible. It's got them all. Um, mouse and touchpad, very, very handy for laptops. Um, and a network if you want to have uh, uh, a, a network connected, uh, or if you want to connect to a network, sorry about that and notifications. So that pretty much uh, sums up a very brief tour. Um, I encourage you to uh, take it for a test drive. You'll notice all kinds of neat things um, that are available. And of course, it's just lightning fast. I hope you enjoyed this RoboLinux video and you have a wonderful day. And may God bless you and your family.